in his bamboo outing. Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone, Eni called cheerily to his companions. I have wonderful news. Today we're going to Wonderwood, where there is a surprising new arrival for you to see. A plant which grows horizontally under the ground known as rhizome. It is a bamboo plant. We all know that it is very special to have an outing that includes a surprise, particularly one that can teach us splendid new interesting facts. There has actually been a discussion in many places whether bamboo is a grass, plant or tree because the bamboo grows so fast. There are many ideas about bamboo. For example, Bamboo plants are considered to be lucky plants, according to the principles of Feng Shui in Chinese medicine, which teaches how to live with harmonious energy, as the hollow structure of the plant helps in the movement of qi energy, which is known as the life force. It is believed that the bamboo plant can help in moving positive energy and in turn generating more abundance and prosperity for all. Also, this plant can be very helpful for taking care of our environment and our climate. It is so versatile, it is almost magical. So Meany and Beany both smiled and said together, Wow, that sounds really super. We will just have breakfast and we will come wherever and whenever you wish, Eni. It is a perfect day for this adventure. Yes, good idea, replied Eni. We can breakfast beside the lovely pond in the garden and enjoy an Eni morning stretch first. Perhaps Bo and Sue will show up and accompany us today on the visit to Wonderwood. The companions slowly and mindfully made their way to the lovely pond. There they closed their eyes, stretched as far as they could, and then breathed in the clean and clear air around the pond. After five deep breaths, breathing slowly in and out, they felt much more wide awake. They also felt rather hungry, ready for a tasty breakfast to begin the day's activities. Just as they started to eat, to their delight, Bo and Sue appeared. Their wish was granted. Hello everyone, they called. Do join us, said Meany. We're having breakfast before a special outing to Wonderwood, where a lovely surprise awaits. Yes, confirmed Beanie. It will make you feel good. Oh, of course, that sounds wonderful, said Bo. Our scooters are clean and bright, ready for a splendid day out. Perhaps we can include some music with the snails. We've had our breakfast already, but a nice delicious apple from the orchard would be very welcome, said Sue, so we can join you on your tasty meal break. We all know that it is polite and thoughtful to agree to join others when they invite us generously and to try not to hurt their feelings. Just then, they heard the sound of apples falling from the trees. Bo and Sue went to collect some, while Eeny, Meeny and Beeny enjoyed their breakfast together. Here we are, announced Sue, carrying a good supply of apples. We can take some with us for our day out. We all know that taking healthy snacks with us on a journey can be very good for us and very enjoyable. The companions gently made their way to the scooters parked at the garden gate. 
Then, in a really bright, cheerful mood, they set off together in convoy toward the direction of Wonderwood. Sue and Meanie went ahead this time, with Eenie and Beanie joining Bo. They were all feeling so good and happy that the huge arrow pointing them in the direction of Wonderwood appeared to cover the whole sky. Wonderwood seemed to be even more magical than usual when they entered. They were greeted by the hoot of the owl, who must have known that they were coming. A mysterious atmosphere was felt by all the companions. Then, from nowhere, Ejan Elf appeared. This way, everyone, he announced. He showed them the way to the far corner of the wood where an extraordinary and unique plant was growing. It was bamboo, that amazing grass that is so special. As bamboo has such positive, happy energy, it had appeared in Wonderwood, bringing welcoming smiles to all. Even the owl had stayed up to show Eni and his companions how special the bamboo plant was so far without any name. We all know that nature provides various varieties of living beings that help us to live in a healthy way on the planet Earth. Ejan Elf made a marvellous spell. Eeny, meeny, beeny, bo, when we come again this plant will really grow. Then he announced, so when we next see the bamboo plant, it will have grown several inches. And then he disappeared silently. Everyone was so excited and amazed that they decided to have an apple break and quietly observe and make friends with the bamboo plant. We all know that talking to plants can be a very good idea for their strong development. Bo explained that there were many ways bamboo can help everyone instead of cutting down trees for wood. Beautiful houses and other buildings and furniture can be made. They checked the size of the incredible plant and felt very grateful to see it in Wonderwood. So many other dwellers of Wonderwood joined them to say hello to the companions and the plant that they all decided to give a spontaneous performance by the snails. Eeny, meeny, beeny, bo, nature's many surprises to show. Whatever the size, tall or small, we can feel bamboo enthrall. Everyone clapped and sang along, so happy feeling good. Even the owl hooted with delight before going to settle down to his sleep. The companions agreed that they would come back soon to see how much the plant had grown and named it Beautiful Bamboo Baby. The wonders of Wonderwood continue. What a fantastic visit. Mm -hmm.